my name is Dennis Van Eostorp. I'm with the Bee Informed Partnership, and today we're going to be talking about treatments for honeybee tracheomites as it relates to the management survey of 2012-2013. There are a couple of products that are effective for tracheomites. Formic acid is one of those, and we already discussed that in the Varroa mite slide. Another one is mitothol, and you can see that the beekeepers who use this product did not lose any colonies any more or fewer colonies than those who did not use the product. This is probably largely because we don't think tracheomites is a very big problem in the country. We don't see them widely at high levels in surveys. If we find them at all, it's at very low levels. And so we actually don't think tracheomites is a big problem. Again, you can see tracheomites tends to be a bigger problem in the region, in the northern states, but you can see there's no difference um, between whether colonies survived if they were treated with mitothal or not, depending on region. The information is for educational purposes only. References to commercial products or trade names do not imply endorsement by the Bee Informed Partnership or its members. The results presented here are the summary of the population who responded. The sample may not be representative of the beekeeping population at large. These results simply highlight differences in the sample population. The results cannot be considered conclusive, causative, protective, or a test to product efficacy or lack of efficacy.